Now this is what has been happening at the University of Nairobi this week. Orwongo Newton is my name. And I am Ruby Mutegi. The Department of Chemistry in collaboration with the Scientists of Kenya Association hosted a science communication and diplomacy conference on the 15th and 16th of October at the University of Nairobi. The conference themed effective science communication for technological innovation and adoption in Kenya brought together leaders, researchers, policymakers, journalists, diplomats and many other stakeholders. Among matters discussed was science communication and the role of young professionals as they are vital when it comes to dissemination of science information. Our reporter Wendy Isendi with more details on the story. As a base center in scientific research and development, the University of Nairobi, in collaboration with other stakeholders, held a discussion on how scientific research projects could be utilized to inform the public on matters related to health, agriculture, education, and environmental sustainability. The University of Nairobi is at the forefront of research that addresses both national and global priorities, but more importantly, we are committed to translating this research into policies, into practices, into programs that have got a tangible impact making a difference in people's lives. Effective communication between the researchers and the public is a matter of concern that has often been overlooked, although it's crucial for the country's development. Rosalina Awar, the Director of Research in Technology, explained the government's effort in simplifying complex scientific approaches so that they are understood in a layman's language. Science communication must be central to this process, ensuring that research outcomes are not only disseminated widely, but also translated into applications that address societal needs. Innovation and research are at the backbone of Kenya's economy. The conference provided a platform for scientists and policymakers to reflect on how research could be used to improve the country's economy with an emphasis on the youth and students urged to adopt practical approaches and innovative ideas that can be communicated and understood well. Science and innovation has the ability to transform nations. This is because it has the potential to solve issues on food insecurity, climate change and adaptation, and resource depletion. Effective communication will create a society that values science and embraces innovation. Reporting for UNC TV, my name is Wendy Isendi. Now in other news, the University of Nairobi in partnership with the Campus France and Sciences Po University in Paris held a France scholarship program information session on the 15th of October 2024. This program aims to offer Kenyan students opportunities to pursue higher education in France with sciences poor requiring high academic standards and knowledge in French language is not required by Campus France. Our reporter Antignari with more details on the story. The University of Nairobi hosted the Studies in France Scholarship Program Information Session on the 15th of October 2024 in partnership with Campus France and the renowned Sciences Po University in Pahi. The University of Nairobi is uh, determined to develop international linkages. And uh, part of these linkages are not you know, just staff driven. Some of them are student driven. The program seeks to provide Kenyan students with a unique opportunity to pursue undergraduate and postgraduate studies in France. Madame Masige Chauvi, a representative of Campus France, also highlighted that knowledge in French is not mandatory for one to apply for the scholarship. For the Sciences Po University, the eligibility criteria is quite selective as it only allows first-class honors and second-class upper division graduates. The eligibility criteria for undergraduate students, guys who want to pursue bachelors for example, you need to have a C plus and above in your KCSC for direct admittance into a bachelors program. 
For those who are interested in applying for the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program, I highly advise them to go on, our, on the homepage to get more information about the different master's program that the scholarship program covers. This was a unique opportunity for the students to access world-class education and expand their academic and professional horizons with the Sciences Po University, with many students expressing their desire to benefit from the opportunity. I've loved the fact that I got the opportunity to attend the session, which was an amazing one, and uh, me envisioning uh, whatever I've gotten here to my um, career growth. Nikifika for the year and after graduation, I hope that I will apply for this scholarship for yeah, France, at least to go on the field. Reporting for UNC TV, my name is Anne Tunyari. Now elsewhere, the Department of History and Archaeology hosted the International Conference on Mau Mau Movement, which will go on until the 18th of October 2024. This is the second time the university is hosting the conference after hosting the 2022 conference, which provided scholars from the global north and south an opportunity to reflect on Kenya's colonial history. The first ever international conference on Mau Mau movement took place 10 years ago at Karatina University and was aimed at bringing Mau Mau and other liberation movements to light. This year's theme is Mau Mau, Transitions and Contours of the Post-Colonial State, featuring presentations on the role played by Mau Mau in Pan-Africanism, Mau Mau gender politics and the trial of Dedan Kimadi, among others. Mweni Yvonne with more. The University of Nairobi hosted a significant conference on the Mau Mau movement, which is a pivotal chapter in Kenya's history. The event themed Mau Mau transitions and contours of the post-colonial state, which brought together scholars, historians, and activists to delve into the complex of this anti-colonial uprising. This conference was crucial for understanding the ongoing impact of the Mau Mau on Kenya's identity, politics and society. It was something very real that happened in Kenya. It changed Kenya's history dramatically, okay? And yet it's, it's been sort of shoved aside and I think it is very important. The conference was as important as it served a powerful reminder that the government should exist to serve the people and this is as a result of the movement's struggle against British colonial rule, which highlights the importance of accountability justice and the protection of human rights. This conference is telling us that you must serve the people, any government, anywhere in the world. In a nutshell, the conference offered a unique opportunity to connect with history and learn valuable life lessons. By exploring the diverse experiences and perspectives within the Mau Mau movement, the students and everyone else can gain a deeper understanding of human resilience and the power of collective action. Uh, I'm asking everybody else to, to study the moment, study uh, struggles, uh, not just the Momo struggles, but uh, everyday uh, life struggles. Opinions. Reporting for UNCTV, my name is Moini Yvonne. And now you're up to date with the UON Weekly by UNCTV. Follow us across all social media platforms and remember to catch the next episode of the UON Weekly on YouTube at UNCTV. My name is Ruby Mutegi. And my name is Orongo Newton. Empowering you.